Welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today I wanted to look at using our Curious and Candy Mix, which are our kind of cheaper products. They're the ones that are maybe curious, basically, maybe at the end of the pool where it's not so good, or the beginning of the pool where it's not so good, maybe where it's gone slightly hollow, and we have enough of it to sell it as an individual product. And Candy Mix is where we take one of a colour, so all the reds of things where we don't really have enough to sell it as a curious, or, you know, it's just not quite as good enough even to be a curious and we put it all in so you get one lush coloured, lots of different beautiful pieces of glass that you can use. So I want to come up with ideas of using these products because, I don't know, Marini are expensive and um, Jameson recently did a video showing using uh, some of our curious as a way to get really kind of fantastic, impactful product, um, projects with this slightly cheaper product. So I thought I'd have an inspiring moment and make some using these products. So we've made this 96 Hummingbird using lots of nine, um, 96 Curious uh, Marini and some Candy Mix. And because they're two-tone and they've got texture in them, it really gives a real textural feeling to this product project. And then here we have a 90 Butterfly, again using some of the 90 Curious and 90 candy mix. So today I'm going to show you how to make these. So with this I found a quilling um, kind of butterfly and I've used it as my template. Um, we've cut ours on the Taurus Hall which is now broken so hopefully we can get it fixed before we can do the next project. Um, uh, but you know guys you can get by from um, lots of fantastic places pre watercut jet cut shapes and this is kind of a great opportunity to use them. Um, I know there's places in England, we'll, we'll put some links at the bottom of ones we found. And then I'm using, so we're using a lot of Curious. Now, um, Jameson recently was talking about how kind of Curious is a great kind of poor man's Marini where you can use them to, um, you know, add to something. Um, you know, his decals are a perfect example where you can, you know, use Curious uh, and, and add them. This is kind of a lot, lot we've got around at the moment. I'm also taking a bit of Candy Mix, um, which is another. These are sold in kind of mixed colours and they're kind of a mix of hollows and other things where we don't necessarily have enough to make them as a product as a curious um, so that we put them in candy mix. So I'm going to now decorate this butterfly um, using what I've got here. So we also want to do a nice one in 96 so we've cut a bit of ice in 96 um, in the shape of a hummingbird and we're going to decorate that with some of our curious and uh, candy mix from 96 stock.
So here they are in the kiln. Now I'm putting both in together, 90 and 96, but I'm just gonna anneal them twice. So I'll kneel for the 96 and then the 90, and we can see what they're like when they come out. So here they are out of the kiln. We then drilled a couple of holes. We've got some holes here and here, here. So these can be hung up. The nice thing about them is because we've done them on Tecta, that they're double-sided so they can go in a window and look great as you're walking past it from the outside and look great from the inside which i really like um that's a sort of kind of super you know uh, uh, good thing about this project i think this really this project really is lent to using these um candy uh, uh, uh curious and candy marini um, i just think it's a sort of fun way to do it and i think it worked really well particularly in this one to kind of um, band the colours together so we've sort of used the greens and the greeny reds at the top and then gone into the yellows and the blues at the bottom and I think that works really well. You can mix it all up and use lots of colours mixed together but you might find a more kind of aesthetically pleasing project, project, project when you do stick to certain colours together in the area of the butterfly. The first time I tried it they were all a bit mixed up and I didn't like it and so I just started again. Um, again also with the, the 96 um, hummingbird You've got the kind of greeny blue area at the bottom leading into this sort of more red area at the top and I think it works. And it's awesome, these puppy paws, these mini puppy paws, quite hard to use, but they give a really awesome texture in the wing of the butterfly that almost feels like it's humming, which I love. Um, so I think that worked really brilliantly. Um, so it's a great idea of how to use these sort of cheaper, um, you know, more cost effective you know, value for money products that we have available. They're not a full marini, but you can use them. You can use them in a flower meadow. Instead of using, you know, a tulip, you can use a tulip with a hole in it. And for many projects, projects it will work brilliantly, particularly if you're using a lot of them. They really have the kind of, it's more the color and the shape and the texture of them that gives the impact that you might be looking for. So go check them out. You know, we sometimes have more stock and we sometimes have less, but it's always worth keeping an eye out. And we always send out a newsletter. If you go to our website, to Tabitha's Glass Emporium, Emporium.com, you can sign up to our newsletter. And then twice a week, we try not to do it too often, you'll get uh, a newsletter of any kind of product, products that we've got, you know, we've updated our Curious, so there'll be more products there available, or our scrap, or our um, candy. We'll always let you know, so you can hear about it, and then go on the website then. They do sell, sell out quick, guys. They do, are, they are kind of popular, and when we get them, we sell out quick. But we always have some Curious in stock, and they are all really versatile to use in projects like this, so check them out. I hope you've liked this video. Please subscribe to hear about the next one. Share it, like it, comment. We love it all. And we'll see you next time. Until then, happy fusing.